to attach uh, an alpha channel you know an image alpha channel to your brush so you can use for sculpting your mesh so we're going to start with the cube i'm just going to show you a quick example um right so let me just first resize i'm going to make a tile um so let's just scale this down and go to my autographic view and just position there maybe i scale a little bit more there you go and um g to move okay so this is going to be my tile that i'm going to work on and i'm going to call it low poly tile now um okay in order to have uh we're gonna go to a sculpting thing and i'm gonna actually duplicate that shift d to duplicate sorry shift d go back here shift d escape to go back to the original place and i'm just gonna call it high poly tile right so i'm gonna hide the low poly so i don't want it now and um I'm going to use the high poly. So what we have here, if I go to my, um, if we go to my edit mode and uh, to click on the outline, select, uh, sorry, statistics, um, I can see here that I have, it's just the cube, it's got uh, six faces, right? So we won't be able to sculpt on that. Let's go to our sculpting tool and uh we're going to remesh this right first thing step number one we need in order to be able to sculpt we need a very dense mesh so we're going to apply the remesh and i want it quite dense because the images i'm going to use um are quite detailed which i'm going to show you in a minute in fact i'm going to show you now so i'm trying to yeah this is a kind of image we're going to use for applying to our tile yeah the moorish tiles as you can see there's a lot of detail so i need quite a dense mesh in order to sculpt that so i'm going to put here and remesh uh put it 0 0.01 so it's quite it's going to create quite a dense mesh yeah so let's have a look in order to see let's see to go to edit mode and there we have it it's really dense um, if I go down to layout mode it's got two uh, faces 242,000 faces okay that should work I mean if you need more you can even add more depending what you're doing but I think for what the purpose it depends on what you want to achieve uh, for your uh, sculpting right so uh, the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, in order to visualize night better, I'm going to come here to my viewport option, sorry, and I'm going to switch on cavity, shadow, so it gives me that little um, specular lighting there on the corner, so you can see a lot better, and that also I'm going to add, if I click here on my mat cap, I can, I'm going to add a color, Maybe that color there, so I can see better. Um, right, what else do I need to do? Now, I need to um, bring my image. So I'll come here to my texture properties, yeah, and add new. And then I'm gonna open, go to the file where you have those uh, textures which is, uh, I should have left it here easy for me, but I didn't. So I'm just looking for, for my textures, this one. So I'm gonna bring the, the first one, the second one, I don't know what they look like. Yeah, this one, right? So this is the image I'm gonna use. Um, then I come here to my um, properties, 
active uh, workspace settings workspace settings and then go down uh, here I can decide as like you know as, as any sculpting press F you can you see if you press F you can here resize your brush and then you can see the image that we're gonna use for sculpting and again here you can have the strength up and down I'm gonna put a little bit down my strength you can decide the direction of uh, if the brush goes up or go down add and subtract subtract the normal radius and so on so and then if I click here on the uh, uh, texture texture here you can see my texture there and now I have to decide how I want to use this texture and if I say tile or tile let's just do one thing first so 3d let's put in 3d mapping as a 3d um, and then I need to decide the stroke let's say uh, I think I'm going to put anchored stroke Keep the brush anchored to the initial location. That's very important because this is only one image. I don't want it to work as, as a normal brush, yeah, that I move and the image moves with the brush. So I want to anchor that in the middle, uh, and then when I move my uh, pen or my mouse, it would uh, the, it's just going to replicate the rest rather than be painting on top of each other right like a normal brush I don't know if I explained that properly and the fall off I wanted to keep it constant yeah so I would just want it's like I want this to work as a stamp boom right okay I think we are ready to go so I'm gonna go to my top view so for better viewing and I'm gonna do that there you go there we have it we have our tile okay so the good thing I use the top uh, the top view is so it only applies to my to my top face yeah so that is very nice um, and that's the way you do a tile so I'm gonna create another uh, new another cube here so I'm just got another cube gonna put it over there gonna resize Maybe I'm just gonna add it here next to it a little bit bigger. Okay. And again, I'm going to my sculpting. And remesh. And now I can try um, different uh, ways so if I can say tiled for example I go to my top view so if I want tile it depends of the size of my brush so I'm gonna press um, F for resizing my brush so I can see what happens this size and that's how it works okay Control -Alt -Alt Z so you can do an entire um, I think it's too high so I'm gonna bring my strength down oops and I just paint it okay so it did uh, it did go across uh, the bottom one so let's see again I think it actually goes depends on my UV. Yeah, is this replicating underneath? You can always um, decide which faces you want to apply the brush. But for purpose of exercise, that's what I wanted to show you. Um, now, I wouldn't be able to use this in a game because the, the density of this mesh is huge. So uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to bake this texture onto a low poly mesh um, and then it is ready for using in your game. You might say I don't need to do this because uh, you know I can just use the image and apply um, as a normal map or a displacement map in, in my 
low poly mesh yes but the whole point is uh, that I'm showing this is that you can use for painting an entire object let's say you have a column uh, a wall that you want to apply all sorts of different um, patterns and then you export so and then you bake that to your game uh, low poly mesh which are we going to see that in the next video okay that's all for now and i see you in the next video